Happy day, friends. It feels like spring outside today. I think Austin and I are gonna try to get outside for a little bit um, as soon as Micah wakes up. It's like 51 degrees out right now. It's been, the weather's just been creeping its way up. It's been really nice. Gets me excited, makes me wanna clean, makes me wanna do all the things. Um, it feels like a nice switch up. I feel like the past uh, few weeks, maybe the past month, um, ever since like the Christmas craziness has died down, I feel like it was like really nice and calming and relaxed. And now I feel like, okay, I need something else. I need, I need something a little bit different. And the weather is like, it's doing it for me. It's, it's feeling really good out. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the sunshine. I'm loving the warmer weather. You hardly wear bows anymore. I feel like we had Micah in bows all the time and Paige, I mean, it's COVID. We don't really ever go anywhere. So we don't want to get dressed up very much, but we can start putting bows on ya. You look so sweet. You gonna play with a spoon? <laughs> Are you hungry? Well, I'm, more so, I'm more something like you want to hold it and play Dra with it. Drama queen's gonna come out if you don't get her something. I'm <laughs> well, dang, I didn't realize she was so hungry. Maybe you'll just play for a little. That's a spoon, you can play with it. You can play. You can drum with it, go like this. <gasps> bam, 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 bam. By the time this video posts, today is Super Bowl Sunday. Uh -huh. The winner has already been decided, but I'm curious who you guys are who get, who you guys are rooting for. Who are you rooting for? I don't know. I mean, Thorn. I love Patrick Mahomes. I mean, really, it's, they wait, both it's, been. It's Kansas City and who else? I don't even know who's and playing. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay. Oh. Both have been giant rivals to Denver for oh. years. I don't know a whole lot about football, but I remember you were telling me the other day, it's Patrick Mahomes, who was the youngest quarterback yeah. to win the Super Bowl, against Tom Brady, who is the oldest and also has, what, six six rings under his belt, now he's on a new team. That'll be an interesting game. I'm kind of going for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like, You want to see the old guy win? Go out with a win? Well, yeah, here's the thing. Like, He's played for the Patriots for so long that like, if he can really do it on a new team, that would be pretty rad. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, here's there's two crazy himself. things. There's one for me. I've always thought Tom Brady was a result of a system, mm -hmm. which he very well could have been. But it's been incredible to see him go to another team and still win. That's what I'm saying. It's and pretty cool. And then for Patrick Mahomes, I saw a crazy stat where it's like he could win two Super Bowls before he loses ten games, which is insane. Like, like the amount of skill and talent crazy. these people have is just admirable. It's just. This is really cool. You have to appreciate it for at least that. Thanks, sugar. You bet. <laughs> He's doing the dishes. That always makes me happy. Here, can I give you a pat on the arm? Will that make you? <laughs> just yeah, what a dog. Just Austin and I have been like now that now that we feel like we have a little bit more time for ourselves and like our relationship and and spending. It, it's not like time has changed. It's like, it's just that our focus has shifted from. Me, like, it took a lot of mental energy to breastfeed and take care of Paige and Micah. And so now that we have shifted away from that, I feel like I have put more focus and energy um, onto Austin in my relationship, which has been nice for a change. You know, I've been pregnant or breastfeeding for the past, gosh, three years almost. So one thing, like, we've... <clears throat> we've been talking about lately and and really putting our focus on is the five love languages i don't know if you guys have heard of that i feel like it's a pretty common thing um now but sorry our battery died but what we didn't realize is since jess has been pregnant and breastfeeding now for over three years mm -hmm. we have been putting our own relationship as it were on Just the on back hold. burner. Like I wouldn't say on the back burner. Like that's what hold means. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, it just sounds different in my head. Yeah, we have known each other, been dating, been married, engaged, all the things, and we have been like known each other now for over seven years. It's crazy. And so you know what they say, you get that seven year itch, things are going crazy. We decided it's a really good time for us to kind of like. Kind of perfect timing, given everything that we've said. Like we do have more time and energy to spend yeah. on, on like dating again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this um, year, like, like I don't, I don't. Maybe everything's just kind of falling together perfectly for us because we had so many things planned for last year, and then we all know what happened in 2020. <laughs> it almost seemed like perfect for us to 
be able to have like an excuse to really stay home and take care and raise our kids together. Yeah, and that was nice. Um, and now this year, we have like a great year to really like reconnect and rebuild on our relationship and what we had before kids. Um, we already have a vacation planned here in two months. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we just, we're already kind of like lining things up to have more adventures and fun together this year. But building on those blocks as well. I mean, vacations don't fix relationships, but they help. But we really want to build our foundation as well in learning each other's love language. Yeah. Uh, we've really struggled um, pretty much since the beginning. We've, we, there's a thing. Don't Austin you agree? And I, I mean, sort of. We haven't really learned to speak each other's love, love languages. But Austin and I have always got along great. We've been great, a great, like, team we've been a really good solid couple i feel um but we have always struggled speaking each other's love languages yeah and it all made sense we took the five love languages quiz like last week or something just to see and um i always thought that my first love language was quality time turns out it's not um but austin and my love languages are like completely flipped like his first is my last and my first is his last. So so it makes sense why we've struggled speaking each other's love languages. It's almost as if you're trying to speak Chinese to someone who doesn't speak Chinese. Yeah. And you just get angry because they don't speak Chinese. You're making it sound like we fight and get angry at each we other. We do. <laughs> no, it's just like... We do fight, though. We do get no, angry yeah, at each other. No, yeah, we do sometimes. Like, but... I don't want to front and say that we're perfect. No, we're far from it. clearly not. But Austin's love language is physical touch. And that's my last. Like I just said, we're flip-flopped. And so Austin often will speak his love language to me with hugs and cuddles and and like arm touches and stuff like that. And I just don't receive that well. Like I'm just like, mm, okay, like what, you're you're doing this for you. Like I don't want to be touched. You know, like there's certain mm -hmm. times when it just it doesn't doesn't speak to me. And being that physical touch is my last, we're using physical touch as an example because it's like the extremes for us. Yeah. But physical touch is my last, I'm not the type of person that'll just go up behind Austin and, and hug him or just like snuggle up and cuddle. Like, oh, not, you can do that. I know, like he loves You've it. You've never and done that. Like, oh. I do sometimes when I'm feeling nice. <laughs> but oh. it's just like not, not how I speak love. So it's been fun and eye-opening and interesting learning each other's love languages and and here's the thing i took the quiz the first time and my first one was uh receiving gifts mm -hmm. and i was like shocked because i'm like i don't care about gifts i don't care about that at all like you don't have to get like you know it just was mind-blowing to me but then when we read into it receiving gifts is a lot more about the thought behind it and so it started making sense like oh like I do. I do like to know that he's thinking about me. I do Which like has to put know. me in an immediate anxiety attack. <laughs> because my birthday and Valentine's Day are coming up in the They're next, next like, week. weekend. That's and I, I spent you know, like hours like... last night looking at stupid gift ideas. I'm like, none of these are great. See, that's the thing. Don't give me a thoughtless gift. That'll hurt my my love tank. <laughs> It's just all, it's all about the thought that goes Anxiety into it. is through the roof, guys. So I if know, you have any great I gift totally ideas. I totally appreciate that you are actually like stressing it Now away. it's like, no longer fun. Feel good. Now it's no longer fun. <laughs> I I like we took something trying. that I used to like doing and now it's a stressor <laughs> because now it's like, great, what if she doesn't like it? Is she not going to love me now? It's not about the actual gift though. It's not a materialistic love language. It's really not. And that's what I didn't realize before. Let's be honest. Gifts are getting harder and harder to get. As they time goes they on. are in general, but <sighs> I think I got you a pretty good one. What? <laughs> just kidding. Oh, <laughs> gosh. See, you have it easy. I don't care about gifts at all. I know. I've never been oh. one to really love gifts. I do love surprises. Like, Christmas Day is awesome, but I don't, like, I don't really you don't care, about care about physical possessions. Like, I'd what much if, rather. Well, it's not about, it doesn't have to be about physical possessions. That's well, what I know. you're missing. I know. That's not what I know. So you could, like, gift me a massage. Okay. Like, if you were to like massage, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I get that's, it. Maybe that's not the best example. I'll but massage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
regret it as soon as I said massage. I was like, ah, oh, he's a dude. Hey, you gotta thank you gotta thank me for it because without it, we wouldn't have two beautiful daughters, huh? Whatever, I didn't get massages. <laughs> you jokester, you. It just makes you more mindful of the other person's wants and needs. Yeah, oh, totally. Which is great. Which we have, like, missed the mark at, I feel. Like, not speaking each other's love languages. Sure, we know that we love each other and we know that the other person loves us, but there's this thing called your love tank. Yeah. I'm taking it right out of the book. And it needs to be filled. And so when we're not speaking each other's love languages, our love tanks aren't being filled. I have actually found that you can find the audiobook here on YouTube. Yeah, so the I audiobook's can, on YouTube. I can link that down below. But also, the app is totally free. So if you mm -hmm. guys want to, like, take your own <laughs> test and see where you're at with compatibility-wise with your with your significant other, you can do that. And yeah. then you can link them, which is yeah. really cool. This isn't sponsored, you guys. No, it's, it's not. we found on our own. And, it... and it's something that we have found has been helping us a lot. Uh -huh. um, highly recommended. It's been, it's really, it's been nice. It's really eye-opening. There's also five love languages for kids. And I looked into it, and Mike is totally, totally a, a quality time person. Like, she's always asking us to play. Come play with me. And that's her love language. Yeah. So it's, it's fine. I always say she's a cuddler, too, because she always cuddles me, but I just doesn't think so. She cuddled me just last night and I know. This yeah, well, of course, every once in a while, you need, mm -hmm. like, you need to feel comfort in and physical <laughs> touches, like, for everybody. Yeah. Like, even me, being at my last one, every, like, my physical touch, the way I receive it is holding hands or, or like, a nice long hug or something like that, but... It's just different for everyone and yeah. that and that's what we're trying to learn with each other is like really dialing in on our love languages because we've been aware of them But we're really trying to dial in on it. Yeah, and you know, this is actually perfect timing because Valentine's Day is next week So maybe yeah, this is like true. the that's perfect really little true. talk it, of all the timing has just like aligned It's just yeah. aligned. So maybe do that for Valentine's Day Take a little quiz figure it out and really try and speak do something others. that do something for the other person that speaks their love language. All right, off to having some fun with some kiddos. What do you want? Do you want some more food? She's like, no, I just want to play and roll around. I don't, don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, she does want more milk. <laughs> All right. Told you, she's a growing girl. I'll get you some. You gonna catch me down the stairs? <gasps> oh, here I come! Here I come! Oh, thank you so much. This way. This way? Okay, are you ready to go on a walk? Yeah. Should we go on a little walk or a big walk? A big walk. A big walk. I think that's a great idea. Oh, here I come, here I come. Woo! Come on. Let's go. Whoa, you're so strong. Cute. Oh gosh, I'm rolling off the... Oh jeez. <laughs> Mom can't multitask, that's for sure. <laughs> you okay in there, face? Sorry, sweetie. Okay, take a nap. This is really, really obscure, and I don't know why it hit like a weird memory of mine, but it did. Well, it's odd because as soon as you started talking about it, I was like, I got the same feeling. I was like, oh. Right then? That's weird. Well, or after, just from like, me after, saying after, it. From you saying it, I was like, okay. yeah, I can understand. So it was really obscure. Um, all I saw was two teenage boys walking into a house together, and it just reminded me of, like, growing up and hanging out with my friend Sean or my friend Josh. And we would always go over to each other's houses as usual, but we'd also, from time to time, hang out with our dad, you know? And it just got me thinking, like, man, I... It like dawned on me. It made me realize that I kind of want a son because I would love to have those moments of like hanging out with my son and his friends as they got older. And I don't know, we're like becoming men. You know what I mean? So. Plus, boys are just funny. They're just funny. Boys they're are a dumb. Di they're a different kind of funny than girls are. <laughs> boys are dumb. And if I ever have a son and you and you see this, just know you're, you're dumb. dumb. <laughs> the men species in general, we're just dumb. So, I don't know, that just, it was weird how that just kind of like hit me. It just made me realize like, man, that's something I really would miss. Oh, you wanna hold my hand? All right, let's go walk. There's a car, I see a car coming. Funniest part about all this is that now Jess is like 
getting excited. Well, like as soon as you said that, I was like, yeah, I could do that again. I could, I could do it. Maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and be like, no, no babies for two years. But, but like in that instant, I was like, oh, I would love a son. Like, you know, and yeah. I've never quite felt that way before. So it was weird. <sighs> Micah, come this way. Come here, you goof. You're gonna go home and watch some football. Let's see how fast he can run. Downhill's dangerous though, so don't don't fall in the pit. Don't fall in the pit. Look at that view though. Wow. Can you show everybody your trick? Show them your trick that you've been showing. Because you're doing such a good job. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Not quite the trick that I expected. Go ahead and show us your trick. Oh, you can turn on the lights? Oh, it has to be dark. It's got oh, to be, be moody. Dark. Oh, is that better? Now can you do your trick? Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty good one. That was a good one. That was good. <laughs> Wow, good spinning. <laughs> okay. Do it with you? I'll watch you do it again because I'm not quite sure mom can do that. <laughs> and you roll off onto the ground. I love how calm and collect she is instructing you on what? the fall. One hand? Pretty good trick. That's pretty cool. Two, three, My turn? Okay. One, two, three, go. <laughs> She's got the high pitched mini thing going on. Oh, are you talking like mini? Oh. Okay, show me one more time. One, two, three, 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 two, Okay, well, you tell me when to go. This is my hand. My hand. Oh, one hand, right here. And then what? Roll around. Roll around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, catch me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Body slam. Thank you. It's not looking so good. For your Chiefs, babe. I'm not rooting for the Chiefs. Oh, I couldn't remember. I don't know I... who I'm rooting for. <laughs> really, I just don't want either of them to win. But we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Stay tuned next week for Austin's big birthday surprise for me. Dear God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea what if he... If, I don't know what or if he's even going to do anything. Don't stress about Put it, Put a babe. lot of thought into it. Don't... I'm just going to kick your ass. <laughs> Don't stress about it, but just know that that is my number one love language. Sorry. I'm just kidding. But really though, my birthday is coming up. I don't know what we're gonna do, but hopefully we can get out and do something. I'd love to just go on a date night or something fun. Um, just to, just to reconnect with my husband more. But we hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and we will see you next time. Oh, somebody needs help. What she needs help for? Someone please give me some gift ideas in the comments. <laughs> please, please. Are you gonna do it one more time, Micah? You said you needed help. I thought maybe one something funny happened. But <laughs> <laughs> I love the one that she missed. I know, it was great. <laughs> I love this like She's so funny. Like that. Do you want to say bye to everybody, Micah? Bye. <laughs>